Kid A, here's a curious probability problem for high schoolers. Goes as follows. Tina randomly selects two digit number, two distinct numbers, excuse me, from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and Sergio randomly selects a number from the set 1, 2, 3, up to 10. All right, so Tina selects two distinct numbers from that small set, Sergio one number from that big set. So far, so good. What is the probability that Sergio's number is larger than the sum of the two numbers chosen by Tina? Okay, all right, so just be clear, Tina chooses two numbers and adds them. Sergio chooses one number, got that number. I want Sergio's number to be larger than Tina's sum. Well, to get a feel for it, I might as well just like list out what's, what could happen. For example, Tina. She chooses two distinct numbers from the set one, two, three, four, five. So maybe she maybe she can list all the possibilities. Maybe she chooses she, oh, excuse me, she chooses one and two to get a sum of three, or one and three to get a sum of four, one and four to get a sum of five, and one and five to get a sum of six. Or she could choose two and three and get a sum of what, five, uh, two and four to get a sum of six, two and five to get a sum of seven. Or she could choose uh, one all the ones I've got, all the two, three and four to get a sum of seven, three and five to get a sum of eight, or four and five to get a sum of nine. Okay, well I don't know why I felt like that, but I just listed all the possible things that could happen for Tina. She can get the sum three, four, five, six, or five, six, or seven, or seven, or eight, or nine. Whereas Sergio, uh, what's he doing? He chooses one number from the set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll get one of these numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. So there's all of Sergio's possibilities, and there's all of Tina's possibilities. And I want to know, what's the chance that Sergio's number, one of these guys, is larger than this one of the sums here? All right. Well, I guess I've already embarked on a strategy, strategy number um, 7, which is just persevere. I guess I've listed all the possibilities. So, let's see, um, hmm, how do I think about this now? How do I persevere some more? Well, I'm going to focus on Sergio. I mean, he seems much simpler. He's going to get one of these numbers. In fact, he's going to get each of these numbers one-tenth of the time. I mean, if we did this, like, game over and over again, one-tenth of the time, he'll get a 10, one-tenth of the time, he'll get a 9, one-tenth of the time, he'll get an 8, and so on. Oh, in fact, in fact, let me, oh, I like this. One-tenth of the time, Sergio will get a 10. So, one-tenth of the time, he'll get a 10. And if he gets a 10, he is going to beat whatever Tina gets. So one tenth of the time, he'll win automatically. Aha! One tenth of the time, he'll get a 9. So one tenth of the time, he'll get a 9. And of all those times he gets a 9, he doesn't win automatically because uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 outcomes for Tina, of which 9 of them a smaller than 9, and this final one is 9. Sergio won't beat Tina when, when, when Tina gets a 9, so that means 9 tenths of the time, or this 1 tenth of the time, that seems crazy, Sergio wins. Ah, so in this situation, this 1 tenth of the time, when Sergio gets a 9, he wins only 9 tenths of the time. Ah, if he gets an 8, 1 tenth of the time, Sergio gets an 8, and within those 1 tenth of the time, he will win not there, not there, when Tina gets one of these sums, which is 8 out of 10 of them, he wins 8 tenths of the time. I bet I can just keep going. 1 tenth of the time he wins outright, plus 9 tenths of 1 tenth of the time he'll win, plus 1 8, 8 tenths of 1 tenth of the time he'll win, and so on. I bet I can just keep going, push my way through this, and get an answer. And hopefully I am actually right in my thinking, and this is the correct answer. So, so, I'm going to leave this to you now. Am I correct in my thinking? Do, you, do we like this like fractions of time type of way to solve a probability problem? And if so, what is the actual answer I get from this? So think about this. Carry on, get an actual answer, and let's compare results. Have a look at the essay that goes with the video. Let's see if we're thinking the same way. This is kind of cool. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.